Hello, my name is Kane Munro, and today I'm talking about business and life advice in song lyrics. So just what are today's lyrics? Now, mentoring junior staff is a great way to develop the next generation of leaders in your organization. I actually love doing this, actually. Now, by sharing your knowledge and experience, putting them in the picture, if you will, you can actually help them grow into their full potential, which is why I liked it. Not only will this benefit the individual employee, but it will also improve the overall performance of your team or your company. It also helps you out. Now, there are many different ways to mentor junior staff. One of the most important things is to find what works best for both of you. Uh, now, some people prefer a more hands-on approach. Now, I'm just gonna be careful about that. While others <laughs> prefer to give more general advice and to let the employee figure out how to apply it. Now, there are no right or wrong answers as long as both parties are benefiting from the relationship. Now, I've got a couple of tips here for mentoring junior staff effectively. The first is, as a mentor, you have the opportunity to help someone new to your company or field of work to adjust and become successful. There are a few key things you can do to be an effective mentor or sponsor. Now first, take the time to get to know your mentee or protege. What are their goals? What are their challenges? What kind of support do they need from you? And once you understand their need, you can tailor your mentoring or sponsoring or that relationship accordingly. Now, secondly, you need to be available and responsive to your mentee or protege. Uh, make sure they feel like they can reach out to you with questions or concerns. Lastly, provide honest feedback and advice. Help them to see both their strengths and their weaknesses so they can continue to grow and to develop. By following these tips, you can be an effective mentor or sponsor who makes a positive impact on someone new to your company or field of work. Now, it's really important to set clear expectations for the relationship. What are you hoping to accomplish? What are your goals? And by communicating openly and honestly, you can actually ensure that both parties, you and your uh, mentee, are on the same page and that the relationship is productive and beneficial to you both. Because you aren't, you aren't solely responsible for creating a successful mentoring relationship. Mentoring is a shared job between both you and the person being mentored. The person being mentored needs to be willing and able to take action, to learn, to change. They also need to give you feedback on what is or isn't working well in the mentorship relationship. It's the same as any relationship really, as you work together, your relationship and understanding of each other will improve and you'll both get a lot out of the mentorship relationship. Now that's all for this week. I'll be back next week with another lyric with advice from it. Until then, stay safe, stay well, and teach others cool stuff.